Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Another day, which means another Eurovision reaction. Yeah, and today we're travelling to Croatia. We're going to take a look at the songs taking part in the final of Dora 2022. We've had a listen to them all. Just going to show you our thoughts and what we think today they well. Let's go. It's nice to hear the Croatian language, because last year we didn't really get much of that. I think there was only one or two songs. Yeah, it just reminds me a little bit of a busker. That's the vibe I get. It's a bit kind of lounge background music. Yeah. But I this, love this, so Mia's obviously done well the past two years. Yeah. I think that this is probably my favourite of hers. It's very great as showman. It's very musical. I'm not sure if it's just... I think the commercial style suited her better, but she's got a great vocal. And this is another one of my favourites, Marco. It's again in Croatian, which is nice. It's got that kind of... I mean, I, I love a, an indie like male beats, voice. Yeah. And this really, yeah, electro pop. Ballad. Uh, uh, lyrically, this one lets it down, I feel. Um, it just is a bit basic. It doesn't really grab you. It just doesn't grab me. I think that's the problem is we hear so much like it. But this, on the other hand, the song itself is, is what it is. But Stenka Kovacek, what a woman. I'm looking forward to so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like Eva and Eva last year in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> Cabaret, Liza Minnelli vibes, love it. This, again, I think this is a, quite also theatrical, but I think it's a bit it's storytelling. I think it's something to that a bit better than the newest ones. I think, well, I disagree, but I, th I do love this. I think her voice is stunning, and I think it could be a dark horse. This is a, a very traditional sound, I feel. We, we have quite a lot that comes around in, in Dora, for example. I don't think it does something different, but it, it's pleasant enough. He's very handsome, uh, but the song, is, as said, is just kind of there. And Bernarda, this song really kind of goes into something very different. It's very kind of gospel at the start, love that. Yeah. And I'm not sure about the drop. I think it's a bit two songs in one. I was surprised at this though. So I right. think it's, I'm looking forward to like an end of life for him. She's got a great vocal. And Eric again from back from last year, I think he wrote this song. It's okay, I like it. It's, yeah. it's pretty decent. I don't think it's a winner, but it's, it's good. It's a bit Charlie Poof, I think. That's sort of vibe I get to the minute. Yeah, it's all right. And then Toma was another one of our favourites last year with Ocean of Love. He's done down the ballad route this time. I'm impressed well with his song. voice, yeah, to be yeah. honest. It's lovely vocals, but I'm not sure if the song grabs me in the same way. Yeah, it's a little bit one level. Oh, I love the message of the song. Her vocal's great, but it's yeah, it's a bit boggy. Uh, boggy yeah. in yeah. 2015. It's just a bit background, I can't see. And Ella Oreskovic was one of my favourites last year, but it's, I'm not sure in this song. No, I, again, the, for me, the backing of this feels too light and fluffy. It needs some more mm. boosting up, up, beefing yeah, up. Yeah, it sounds a bit demo-ish, really. It needs a bit more. And this is so, like, radio-friendly. This is yeah. You go to the Balkans on holiday and this is all you hear on the radio, this type of music. Yeah. And I, I like it. It's, it's okay. I think the production of this one's a bit better, there than to compare the two of the last one we just had. And then my, ending with my favourite, Mia Dimsic. It's very Taylor Swift, I think we've commented yeah. on before. It's love really it. storytelling, it, it, you get the message of the song, I think it's a lovely melody. Yeah, I think it's a, a, a nice song. Get her on stage just with her guitar, and I think that, yeah, that has a lot simple. of potential, to be honest. So, yeah, not, not bad, not bad at all. Then we have a dentist taking part in 2022's Dora selection. Yeah, an interesting mix. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if there is, you know, four potential winners that will qualify, but I think there's a couple of choices that could mm -hmm. stand out for them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, last year Albina was robbed with TikTok. She really should have qualified. Really heartbreaking when she didn't. Not sure the standards is high this year, but I think that Mia Dimsic, my favourite, has definitely got a really good chance. I think Mia Negovetic as well, the other Mia. Again, has a really strong song. I think with that vocal that we know she can deliver, mm -hmm, yeah. has potential. Really like Marco um, Bosniak as well. Bernarda's okay. Toma's okay. It's, it's going to be a good show, I think. Yeah, Bernarda for me, Marco, and the two Mias. I think yeah, it's it's going to have to be. I think one of one of 
the two years, I think, actually, to give them their mm. best chance of getting out there. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, that'd be an interesting show, and we'll see what direction they choose to go. And there's lots of diversity in there, actually, yeah. so we'll see which level they go. We want Croatia back in the final, guys. Yes. We need... Vote for Mia. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we think. Anyway, let us know in the comments down below who you want to win and represent Croatia in Turin this year. And as always, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, because we've got lots more to come. Take care. See you soon.